Let's find out. Let's ask the legend himself. Casey joins us from his home. Casey, it's great to see you again. Mr. Chris Harrison, man. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. It's been, wow, well, a decade since we left you on that <laughs> wow. glacier. First and foremost, I'm glad to see you made it home. You know, as much as I loved Iceland, I didn't want to leave. <laughs> but yes, I had to make my way back home. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning. You pull up to the mansion night one. There's Allie. What was that like? I mean, what an experience, right? You you go on uh, national TV to, you know, look for love. And then there's Allie, right? And you're thinking, okay, what what am I going to do to make an impression? And you decide to serenade her. <laughs> you know, Chris, I tried. <laughs> you know, I just tried to be funny and, and, and be the cheese ball that I am. I mean, I'm a hopeless romantic. It is what it is. I mean... If you can't have fun, then what are we doing here, you know? And then you decided to go get the tattoo. It's crazy that that got so much, you yeah. know, notoriety from a tattoo. And I mean, seriously, when my wife and I first met, you know, our first day, we went to one of the fairs. When girls were, you know, taking pictures, I thought for sure she was going to leave me after that. But, uh, you know, they wanted to see the tattoo. And, you know, they always ask, so is that real? Was that is that a real thing? I said, well, yeah, it's it's real to me. It's very real to me. You know, the meaning behind it is very real. I learned it from my grandma who, you know, she, she passed away last year and she was my angel. And, you know, she always told me, you know, you know, Casey, no matter what, make sure, you know, when you find the love of your life, you always guard and protect your heart. Let's see it. Oh, well, can you, can you see that? Can you see the addition to it, actually? You've added a little something to it. I got my wife's and my anniversary day, our wedding anniversary, which is coming up on five years, right above the tattoo. Now it means even more to me than I could even imagine. So I'm very, I'm very thankful for it. You had a pretty decent connection with Allie, but you had a pretty rough connection with Rated R. And you end up on the two-on-one date with your nemesis in Iceland. You know, actually, we didn't know that we were going to be our tribal. Right. It was just, you know, you got bad versus good and... You know, and, and he's the one that went, went home in the helicopter and I got stuck on the glacier. I mean, <laughs> I guess that's kind of what the situation was. But actually, we still talk to this day. He's one of the few guys I still actually talk to, ironically. What has life been like since you did make it back from that glacier? Life's been amazing. Let me show you. This is Chris. This is my wife. Uh, it's Amanda, and this is this is my little son, Kipton Kale. Amanda Kipton, hello. Welcome to the family. <laughs> Future Final Rose material, I love that. Final Rose material, man. You got, you, got, you got 18 years, at least. It's crazy to me to see Casey sitting here with a baby. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just awesome. It is. It's amazing. He's I doing mean, so good right now. He's doing yeah. so good right now. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that is awesome. Thank you guys for taking the time. It's so great to see you again. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Bye.